Hey, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Yes. Got a question. Mm -hmm. Is a man in your life too macho? Mm. Macho. Hmm. Mm. Then go to the doctor. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Will he only go when things get really bad? Well, if so, you're not alone. Experts say men are much more likely to skip the doctor visits than women. Mm. Our resident doctor, Dr. Dave, is here to talk more about men's health and why those routine doctor appointments are very crucial. Yes. 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 Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning Dr. Dave. Dave. You look dapper today, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. I knew I was going to see you today, so I had to get the doctor. Pull it up. 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 Yeah. Mm. yeah. Why is this an yeah. epidemic with our men? Yeah, no, it's and it's it's men across the globe actually. My god. Let me let me say this before I answer that question. It turns out before 18, the age of 18, mm -hmm. males and females go to the doctor the same. Mm -hmm. no, oh, you know that why? Makes sense. Yeah, because the parents. Because your mama parents. took your mama's 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 right? so. And after 18, yeah, it falls mm -hmm. off. Right. Wow. And this really harkens back to when we are toddlers, we see it all the time. I just saw it at the mall, right? The little boy fell over. What did his mom say? Get up. You're okay. Right. Yes. You're fine. Right? Wow. right. It's oh, the deep. unwritten code of you're okay. you'll be okay. okay. Off. Yes. It's the unwritten code of dust it off. It's the unwritten mm. code of pull yourself up by your bootstraps. So here's what happens. That's deep. When we become older, we don't seek Medical help. We don't. I don't want help because I've been taught to pull myself up by my own bootstraps. Wow. Nothing's wrong with me because I can just get up and walk it off and dust it off no matter what. Here's a problem. Hmm. We dust off and walk off physical problems, yes. Right? Yes. right? With stuff that is obviously wrong mm -hmm. and stuff yes. that we don't know is wrong. And then we dust off emotional, psychological yes, we do. Yes. problems of yes, abuse. Yes, true. And that's so true. here's what happens. Then we sort of <laughs> translate that and that sort of goes out. We start hurting the women that are in our relations and in, in our lives, right? Mm -hmm. We start hurting the people that are, right? Because we dusted it off. We mm -hmm. didn't get help. Mm -hmm. I can do it myself. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a big problem. And I can assume a lot of men think if they can get through it, if you can walk through it, you okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, just mm -hmm. walk it right on off. So, so here, and here's the other part. It's, you know, that, that unwritten code of I can dust it off and walk it off. But this other idea of giving up control, because you said it, you know, you know, men, control. you know, we just kind of feel like we're in control, right. whether we're in control or not, right? Um, and the idea of me first admitting that something's wrong with me, yeah. I mean, you know, like if I go to a doctor, that means that I'm not perfect. Right. Like yes. I'm 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 not invincible. Like yes. seriously, you mean like me? Yeah. And if you ask a guy, you know, are you invincible? He's not gonna say yes. yes. He's not saying that to himself, yeah. but we it's on the Y chromosome. Like we feel like <laughs> yeah. right, 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 we right. are invincible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But then to look at, you know, a a, a a doctor and say, I'm gonna admit to you that mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. Right. Oh, absolutely not. Right. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Okay, yeah. it's an issue. Well, yeah. We all know that they say doctors are the worst patients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But why do you think that men only go to the doctor when they feel sick? Why is that a bad idea? Yeah. No, it's a really bad idea. And, and uh, you know, quick question for the guys watching. What does high cholesterol feel like? What's the symptom? Mm. Nothing. Well, Nothing. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. Right. High cholesterol leads to a lot of plaque. Plaque leads to heart attack and stroke. You can and be gone dead. early mm -hmm. like too many men, especially of African-American descent. Yes. So you can't feel the things that can necessarily harm you. And this is a Dr. Davism. All the things that can harm you don't hurt. Mm. All the things that can hurt don't harm. Mm. But That's what true. harms you doesn't always hurt. That's true. So the other part, too, is there's some things that you, you think are okay. It's just kind of a normal part of aging and actually are signals for heart disease. Here's a big one for mm. men, and it's a daytime show. But erectile dysfunction uh -huh. is heart disease until proven otherwise. Uh -huh. Wow! You know, absolutely, and we've known this for a long time. Now, they right? may pay attention to that part. No, right. Right. I get, let me tr trust me, I get a lot of men's attention with that one. Right, right, right. Stop, right. give, you know, give me straight, give me straight. Right. 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 Um, and unless you go see somebody, you know, let somebody look at it. Yeah, right? Right. We should be telling the kids, hey, you know, let me look at that. Okay, it is okay. You right. Go. Unless you let somebody look at it, then you yeah. don't know what shape you're in. Mm -hmm. And then we get the Craig Max of the world. Yes. And then we get the five dogs of the world. Right. right? right? Now, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't pretend to know what happened to Craig right, Mack, right. but I know he had heart disease, mm -hmm. yes. right? I don't pretend to know the, 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 the trials that Five Dog went through, yeah. but I know he had kidney disease from long-term right. diabetes. Yes. That right. took yes. him out the world. These guys so, weren't even yes. 50. So, yes. Dr. Day, what are the top health concerns for men? Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's a really good question, and it sounds trite, mm -hmm. but here's what they are. Number one, heart 
disease. Mm. Heart disease is the number one killer of all people, including men. Black men have more heart disease than anybody else. Mm -hmm. You need to be checking out your heart. Number two, prostate cancer. Well, here's mm -hmm. one of the cancers mm -hmm. that are one, is one of the most treatable cancers known to man, mm. that black men have more of a prevalence of. We have more of it. When we get diagnosed, it's further along and further advanced. Again, I'm going to just, you know, yeah. walk it off, yeah. right? And we die more from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we can treat it. It's like heart disease. We know how to treat heart disease. And then the third thing that I really think is really important now is, is HIV AIDS, mm -hmm. right? If you are sexually active at all with anybody, right, you need to make sure that you've had an HIV test. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so, so important. Yes. 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 Mm. When we come back, uh, Dr. Dave tells us the top health screenings every man should have mm. and when they should get them. Stay with us. I know yes. you're loving it. Good. We know you're yes. loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with the good doctor, Dr. Yes. Dave, talking about men's health. Yes, Dr. Dave. Yeah. What are the most essential health screenings that men should really take heed to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we said this at the top of the, of the segment, you know, heart disease screening, which mm -hmm. includes not only just screening for heart disease, but your blood pressure and your cholesterol, which can lead to heart disease. Mm -hmm. Your prostate examination, no man wants to do it, but I it know. is so important, particularly African-American men, the recommendation is you go and get that, that exam, the exam mm -hmm. that men don't want to have when you're 45, right? Mm -hmm. Right? It's my turn in November to be going to get that exam. I'm mm -hmm. going to be taking a whole host of my friends to get that exam. <laughs> We're going to go in there holding the hands <laughs> like it's civil rights. <laughs> we shall all the come. Yes. Okay. So, but you got to get it done because right. this stuff is so preventable. <laughs> Um, and then screening for diabetes and obesity. These are the big killers for men in general, but certainly mm. African-American men. Mm. Mm. Dr. Dave, how has technology affected diagnosis? <laughs> you know, well, the people yeah. love to go down to WebMD. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And they good Google. Yeah. 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 Dr. Google. Yeah. 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 Dr. Google. Yeah. <laughs> no, so it's, it's funny because there is a, uh, there, I saw something on Facebook. It says, don't, con don't confuse your Google search with my MD. Right. right. With, with right. my medical degree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With my 15 years of training. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, there's some parts of technology that are really, really fantastic. In fact, I have people that come and actually detect heart disease from a, you know, wearable device, you know, mm -hmm. Fitbits and the like. Um, and then there's parts of technology that can be dangerous, right? Technology needs people, mm -hmm. right? And so if you just use technology and you just search, you, you're going to do yourself a lot of, of harm. In fact, there are people who are searching right now on Google and going to do something that is actually harming them. It's counterproductive. Oh, yeah. um, and so there's pros and cons. Here, here's the answer. The answer is go hire a doctor mm -hmm. to help you sort mm -hmm. through that stuff for That's you, right. mm -hmm. not for the millions of people who are going to search on Google. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what is the best way to talk to our men and talk them into going to the doctor? You know, right now, a lot of us don't have health insurance. So yeah. what, you know, what do you say? How do you get them in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm both a, you know, a husband, a male, and a doctor, so I've, <laughs> I know both sides. What you cannot do is make this um, the same way you talk about other things. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't bring this to him like you bring other issues, mm -hmm. pointing a finger, wagging, and having that kind of discourse that you might have over things that are contentious. Mm -hmm. um, because what you're not going to do is get him to go to the doctor. What you say? You heard that before. Well, I'm going to tell you. That's clear. That's coming from doctor. What I'm not going to do. Is, right. is, is, so you've got to take a different tack. And you know, we talked about this at the beginning of the of the segment. We said, hey, you know, moms take their their kids to the doctor mm -hmm. before 18, you actually should be willing to go to the, the doctor with him. Oh, and whether he nice. sort of says, I don't want that or not, be there for support. Mm -hmm. But when you get there, don't be double teaming and, and, right. and like, you know, I told you so, because that's a surefire way. Don't get in the car mm -hmm. right. and say, remember what he mm -hmm. said. Right. Don't use it two weeks later and say, right. remember what he said. Mm -hmm. You're going to be as supportive and loving as possible because mm -hmm. what he needs to remember yeah. is that his health is his posterity yep. and prosperity. Mm. And I, before right, we let you go, I, I, keep I, the sugar away. I'm going to say right. this really quickly. Women, yes. we need to know yes. our men's body and b vice versa. Yes. Because my husband and I were so well in tune, I was yeah. able to find something yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, and it was something that needed to be removed. Yeah. But because we were connected, That's right. and because I know his body, he knows mine, Amen. God allowed Amen. me Amen. Mm -hmm. to possibly save him. Yes. Yes. Right. Thank you, Dr. Dave. Yeah, absolutely. Yes.